Today I have 10 things you should not buy at Sam's Club. Welcome back to the channel. I'm the deal guy, Matt Granite. I'm here to make sure you don't overspend. I'm here to watch out for your wallet at Sam's Club, Costco, Walmart, Target, Best Buy, you name it. And if you like this type of content, please give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know what I can do with my next video. Subscribe, turn your notifications on, and I will save you more cash than you ever thought possible. Before I show you the 10 things you should not buy at Sam's Club, I just wanna remind you guys that on mattsdailydeals.com, I have all of your insider deals and savings. A reminder, I do use affiliate links, which means I benefit monetarily if you're kind enough to use some of my links, like this pair of Bluetooth earbuds with a charge case that also doubles as a power bank down from 129 to 19 bucks. That's just a little bit of what I have waiting for you on mattsdailydeals.com. So the first thing, I would not buy at Sam's Club is, hold on, she's gonna reach down and grab that, laundry detergent. So a couple of things you might not know about buying laundry detergent at Sam's Club. There are many great items that you can buy, but this is the number one thing I would not buy as we count down the top 10, mainly because your best laundry detergent deals actually appear at your grocery store on the first and third week of the month. Second, buying laundry detergent from whatever brand you choose, Tide or otherwise, is not good in bulk. Over time, the composition of the laundry detergent degrades, its formula can become affected, and if you've ever shopped on Amazon, a reminder, just simply searching for Tide will pull up many hidden coupons. I have a full video that shows you how to find the hidden coupons at Amazon, but all of these savings here far outweigh any benefit membership cost you would get at Sam's Club if you're shopping for detergent. The second thing I would not buy from Sam's Club, home security systems, smart home products, and many other tricks employed by all sorts of big box retailer stores and warehouse clubs, so you have no idea what's going on. Let's take a look at the 10-piece Simply Safe home security system. It's a great alarm system. I've actually done a full review of this on my YouTube channel and ring security and so on and so forth. But they package the systems together so it's impossible for you to actually figure out if you're saving money. So Sam's Club will sell the Simply Safe 10-piece kit, but if you go to Amazon, you're gonna find savings, but it's tied to their nine-piece kit. There is no 10-piece kit. And if you actually look dollar for dollar at all of the offers being imparted to the consumer, the five-piece kit on Amazon would give you the best bang for your buck if you added all of the other components independently. And that's, of course, at the time that I'm reporting this video. It's very difficult to see what's going on, and that same thing holds true for this example, TP-Link. They've got this member-only price. And if you look at the member-only price and you actually compare the three-pack to the four-pack, because there is no three-pack being sold at Amazon, just as an example, your savings are better on the four-pack dollar for dollar but many warehouse clubs, Sam's, Costco, BJ's, create these strange numbers of products so it's impossible to price compare. And unless you're evaluating each component on a price by price basis, it's very difficult to know what's going on. The third thing I would not buy at Sam's Club, toilet paper. Well, all paper products are actually a great deal at Sam's Club. If you look at the bathroom tissue and they have their own brands and different offers and numbers, so it's also, very difficult to know what's going on. You're going to find that specifically for bathroom tissue, all of the best deals are now being passed along to grocery stores. Based on how shopping habits have changed. If you guys remember that not so recent bathroom tissue shortage issue, manufacturers of toilet paper quickly realized that the bulk of those purchases are being made at grocery stores and they passed all of the incentives, many of the available rebates and coupons along to grocery stores. So same thing, the first and third week of the month are going to be the best and the most aggressive. But for other paper products like tissue and Kleenex, you're going to actually do better at Sam's Club on those, just not toilet paper. The fourth thing I would not buy at Sam's Club, grills. You're going to find that there's Members, Mark, Four Burner, Outdoor Gas, Griddles and Grill Combos. But if you look dollar for dollar what's being offered and the aggressive discounts from Home Depot or even Lowe's, the bigger brands like Weber pass their top discounts along and many other incentives and free delivery perks and rebates available to Home Depot and Lowe's over Sam's Club. And that's the same with other warehouse clubs. That would be something I would not buy from Sam's Club. In the fifth spot of what I would not buy at Sam's Club, oh my goodness, am I weak. Oh, not just emotionally, but physically, I can barely lift this thing. Uh, sound bars. This is a sound bar system Ooh, that I am reviewing. You're going to find that Sam's Club, not the most well-known for 
soundbar deals, and yet so many members stock up on this purchase all the time. So if you look at their Vizio SmartCast wireless soundbar system that they're offering, instant savings, they get you really excited about it on their member page, 149 down from 199. Did you know that this system is actually from 2017 and that there are prices that are lower? I realize the merchant that I've just called up has a, a shipping fee attached to it. Different times over the course of this week when I've been following this price, there's been more stock. It was a prime item, now it's not. Uh, but the point being, the pricing was more aggressive on Amazon for the exact same thing. And you know what, to be honest, I wouldn't even buy the soundbar system to begin with Although I love Vizio from either place. Sam's Club makes it seem very attractive to you. If you look on Amazon, you know that it's older, but if you look at some of the other offerings, well, you're going to find better soundbar deals from brands like Polk and Samsung and LG and Sony at more aggressive deals. Even their in-house brand Insignia, which I don't love, has some crazy low deals where by the time you accessorize this, you're using newer technology and you are getting a better deal from Best Buy. And the number six spot of what you should not buy at Sam's Club mattresses. Sam's Club was never known as a mattress retailer. They do so many things great at Sam's Club, but mattresses, not one of them. So first of all, many of the deals that are passed along that have instant savings don't have free shipping. So you are paying a shipping fee in some cases on mattresses. The mattress section on Sam's Club is not that easy to navigate. You see deals, but some are top rated, some are instant savings. Some have free shipping and then some don't actually even arrive at your door. And I'm sorry, a curbside pickup for a mattress is not always the most convenient thing. Even when you get to some of the mattress offer pages, you're going to find that there's generally one size and it can only be purchased in a club, which doesn't really help you with the website and so on and so forth. I'd go to Overstock or another furniture store that you know of that specializes in mattress deals. But Overstock as a whole, if you look at Serta just as an example, Overstock not only has aggressive mattress discounts on Serta as an example, but risk-free trials and free shipping in most cases and a very good selection of mattresses to shop from and choose from. You can see Twin, King, California, all available, free shipping. And just as another example right here, if you wanted a Fuller or Queen on this set, which is a great deal, you also know how long the deals are going to last. And I like that level of transparency. There's also mattress warranty plans that you can purchase. It's just a little bit more of a transparent system on Overstock as an example. Now I'm going to have any fellow subscribers or viewers, and if you're not yet a subscriber and you're just a viewer, please feel free to subscribe. I would love you if you did that. But if you've shopped at Sam's Club and purchased furniture that you've been really happy with, please let me know. I've done a couple of purchases and I was not blown away by furniture. So I'm putting that on my top list, number seven of what I would not buy at Sam's Club, but correct me if I'm wrong. I've actually found that if you look at the furniture available on Sam's Club, just as I would never recommend buying furniture from Walmart, Wayfair has constant sales, more aggressive discounts, and things that from what I'm told are a little bit more in style. Now, if you guys are looking at me right now, you'll know that I have zero style, but I, I have someone in my life who is, and she would favor Wayfair any day over Sam's Club. And my aunt is an interior designer and I've interviewed her and spoken to other people. So I'm just letting you know that perhaps Wayfair would be a way better way to go. In the number eight spot of what I would not purchase at Sam's Club, laptops. Now there is one exception, Black Friday, there are specific manufacturer deals that are passed along to Sam's Club members and those are great, as well as Apple deals that actually occur Black Friday through Cyber Monday awesomeness galore. But day in, day out, and a reminder, I will have your best Black Friday and Cyber Monday and holiday deals when they come. You're not going to do that well searching for laptop or Chromebook deals on Sam's Club. Just as an example, if you simply type in HP 14 inch, just to show you what pulls up, you get this Chromebook right now with a not so great processor, I guess average RAM, very small solid state drive, measly at 16 gigs, like most smartphones have more capability than that. And while well, the fact that you get a graphics card is decent, so on and so forth, 249, not a particularly good price for those specs. Just to put that into perspective, if you shopped for the same search on Best Buy, you're going to see an actual laptop rather than just a Chromebook with the same amount of memory, but you get a 128 gig solid state drive, way better than 16. And the AMD processor on here, spec for spec, I would say you're doing better at 239 with a price match guarantee and a 14 inch screen versus the 249 for whatever the heck this is. So just to put that in perspective, 
on a simple search, you're not going to find great things available at Sam's Club with few exceptions over the course of a year. In the number nine spot of what I would not buy at Sam's Club or on samsclub.com, appliances. And I think you guys might actually know this because this is not one of the most popular departments, but it is being aggressively marketed toward members right now. And that's why I am posting this video, just so you're aware. If you look dollar for dollar at the appliance deals and the appliance bundles, I'm not gonna waste your time comparing every bundle right now because I don't know how many people are buying large scale appliances, but you will find the appliance special buys much more aggressive with better delivery services and in my opinion, a broader selection of products at Home Depot. And I'm not trying to vouch for Home Depot. There's plenty of things I wouldn't buy at Home Depot, but I am just comparing it to Sam's Club. Even on the, the so-called seasonal necessities, the discounts are much more aggressive as a whole in the appliance section on Home Depot. Just to put it into perspective, if you are looking for a Dyson cordless stick fact, as I know some people are right now, you're going to find a price of $249 for anyone shopping at Home Depot. If you were to search for that at Sam's Club, you're first of all not going to even find it and you're stuck with a slightly older model at 259. So again, brand new 249 for the V8, the V7 259. I'm not excited by that. As someone that is a consumer reporter and a deal hunter, I search for bargains. I want up-to-date technology, not a, a soundbar from 2017 and I want the lowest prices. Sam's Club just not able to pass that along. And in the number 10 spot of what I would not buy at Sam's Club, skincare products. I'll tell you right now, if you actually look at the skincare line discounts that are being passed along to customers, you're going to do very well at your local drugstore. So we're talking CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid, wherever it is that you shop, you're going to do better than at Sam's Club. On something like Pantene, on my Amazon coupon search, I can actually pull up more coupons and better dollar for dollar savings per fluid ounce versus Sam's Club. But that doesn't mean I would always buy Pantene on Amazon. You're still going to find better prices at your local pharmacy. Again, not everything should be purchased everywhere. One of the big pieces of advice that I pass along to anyone that's kind enough to subscribe to this channel, just people watching, is we can't buy everything everywhere. You can't say I'm making all of my purchases at Sam's Club or I only buy this at Target because a lot of the times over the course of the year, the discounts offered will fluctuate and different brands will favor different stores. A lot of it is tied to distribution contracts that they have and those change over the course of the year. So this information that I'm giving you now is valid until I upload another video and tell you what to buy at that season or at that particular time. So maybe that's a good reason to subscribe, but that was not my point. But my point was that the deals are different based on store, based on time of year, and based on what's going on in the world. So I wanna thank you for being a part of my world. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Have a great rest of your week and thank you for making me part of it. Bye-bye.